It's October, so you know what that means. It's spooky month. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, on this tree, who would get a This is Halloween, everybody make a scene. So I love Halloween. I don't talk about this that much on my YouTube channel. I don't think I've made any Halloween specific videos before, but I absolutely love Halloween. I've loved it since I was a kid. I just always got like super involved in the Halloween costumes and that's part of the reason why I cosplay now. And so I thought since I haven't really done Halloween videos before, it might be fun to do some spooky Halloween videos for my YouTube channel this month. So I am starting this all off with some Halloween book recommendations. These are not books that are necessarily specific to Halloween or necessarily specific to like spooky horror type books, but they're ones that definitely give me Halloween vibes that are perfect to read during this Halloween month. All of my recommendations are young adult books and there will be a couple graphic novels, so let's crack on into this. So I'm starting off with the only one that is explicitly horror in this list. That is 10 by Gretchen McNeil. Cat. This is one of the few horror novels that I've this is one of the few horror novels that I've read that I actually really enjoyed. So this is a book about a bunch of teens who go onto this island for a house party and these murders ensue. It's very creepy. They're trying to figure out who the murderer is, why this is all happening. Very intense and bloody, but I really enjoyed it and makes for a perfect spooky season read. Next up is Pumpkinheads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. This is the only one that is specifically Halloween related on this list. As you can see, it is set in a pumpkin patch on Halloween. It's perfect for every age. There is beautiful beautiful drawings in here. I highly recommend this one. It's a quick fun read for all ages. My next Halloween recommendation is a little creepier than that last recommendation and that is Unleashed and this is by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigley. I don't know how to say her last name. This is the first book in the Wolf Springs Chronicles series and this is a fun werewolf series and ignore the cover like it makes it seem like it's gonna be sexual but it's really not and I really really enjoyed this one I want to reread it so that I can finish the series at some point because I really enjoyed it but I never finished with the rest of the series and I sort of don't remember it as well as I need to in order to pick up the second book but I will do that someday just not right now it wouldn't be a Halloween video without a vampire book recommendation, so for this I'm going to be recommending The Lost Girls by Sonia Hartle. I didn't want to recommend the typical vampire books that everyone's heard about, I want to recommend one that's a little lesser known. The Lost Girls is a vampire revenge story that is somewhat of a retelling of John Tucker Must Die with a lesbian twist to it. I enjoyed it, it's very light and it is a different take on vampires than the typical like shiny ones that you'll see in Twilight and whatnot, so I recommend this to anyone who likes rom-coms and vampires. Next up is another graphic novel and this one is going back to werewolves. This is Can I Pet Your Werewolf? This is by a collection of different authors. I picked this up at a comic con and each author has a different art style that is in the book and these are just a collection of short stories in graphic novel format. A lot of these have great representation and unique takes on werewolves. Also fun fact, when I was at Comic-Con, I walked by the booth that this book was at and I was like, I know the lady sitting at that booth. So it turns out my kindergarten teacher's daughter is now an author and this is one of her books that she's worked on. She wrote the one in here called Wolfing Lessons and even if I didn't know that she was one of the authors in here, Wolfing Lessons was still one of my favorites in this book. So I highly recommend this one to werewolf lovers in this spooky season. Next up is one that sort of gives me like a very witchy fall vibes and that is Beautiful Creatures. This is a series of four books with, I think, one or two novellas and there's a spin-off series and a graphic novel. It's a big world, but this world is very witchy and it's perfect for spooky season and my cat just put her head in the camera. I'm trying to get a fall vibe here, girl, and you're just sticking your head in front of my camera. Girly. Oh, and I almost forgot this is by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, and I recommend this series. And my final recommendation for this video is probably the most popular one out of all of the ones that I've mentioned in this video so far, and this is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. If you've not read this book yet, which cave have you been hiding in because it is such a good book? This is by Ransom Riggs. This is the start of a wonderful series. Each book takes you on an unexpected journey that is very different than the last one. I highly enjoyed this series. I still have one more book left to read in this series. And if you're feeling more in the graphic novel mood, there is a graphic novel version of the book. And I did enjoy the graphic novel version just as much as a normal version. 
So those were all my Halloween book recommendations. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. All of my other social media will be linked down in the description below, as well as all of the Goodreads pages for the books that I recommended in this video. My next video will be coming out this Friday, so I hope all of you stick around to see it, and I hope all of you are having a great start to your spooky season. Until next time, goodbye! Ah!